In the latest Timer Pro, we've actually added a way to allow you to do very rapid data collection without having to go in and out making timings. Here you can see a basic transportation study where you get the work order, check the vehicle in, unload trucks or load trucks and dispatch the vehicles in some delays here. And this is reflected in the download here on the Android device itself. So you can see the listing of elements here. Uh, down in the delays area here, if I tap on that, uh, you'll see the different options there for the different delays that we've defined. It's a very basic study here that we're going to show you here. So let's say we start the study. So we're going to tap on the, the start button down here. And the, we're going to say the operator is getting the work order. So now he's getting the work order. When he finishes that, we hit the time. And then he's going to walk to the dock. Right, so it might take him some time to walk there. And then he's going to get to the dock. He's going to check the vehicle in. So we select the check vehicle in. Right, it's recording the time for that. And now let's say he's going to unload the trucks. So we hit the time and we select the unload trucks. Now what we've done here is we've added uh, in our data sheet in the background here, different uh, categories. So here's different, that could be the vehicle tag, loading trucks, these are the different things, unload, uh, different things that could be adding and um, using a forklift or a, a manual lift and so forth. Right, So these could be the different uh, uh, measurements he's using here. So what we're going to do now is come over here and let's say he's loading the trucks. Now we've added this new button here called the data button right here. So we touch the data button and it instantly switches to the uh, data collection mode. So notice again, whatever's in row one in the background becomes the prompts here. Whatever's in the columns becomes available selections. So let's say we knew the vehicle tag here so we can tap on the vehicle tag here. And it, because it's defined as being numeric, it pops up with a numeric, numeric uh, keypad. So let's just say it was tag, uh, the vehicle number was 368, right? And then we can get rid of that here. And now we're going to say load. So let's say the load is going to be a full pallet and it's going to be a plastic container. So this is like recycles coming in here. And how are we going to do it? We're going to use it a forklift. Now the time is obviously running in the background. So what we've done is we've added a new button here called more. So let's say you want the total unload time. And all we're going to do now, he's got that out of there. We're going to click on the more button. And what it does, it clears out the entries you have right here. And then you can make the next selection. So let's say it was another full pallet. In this example, we're going to unload. And this time it happened to be uh, paper, right? And is you still using a forklift, right? So we've got that here. And that's the second item coming out of the truck. And then all we do is tap on the more again. And it clears out the entries again. So we can continue making these kind of entries. So now let's say it was, a, it was some boxes. And he was going to be unloading and they were containing glass. And uh, it's going to be doing that with a manual lift. So we tap on that here. And then we say more again. And then he's going to go back in. He's doing some more boxes. And this time these boxes contain some plastics. And he's going to be doing that with the manual lift as well. Right, more here. So we can make any number of entries during the recording of the, uh, the the time for the unload. And they will all be accumulated together in the package uh, automatically for you. So this can really assist you in making um, uh, a lot of data entry information about what you're seeing here. So let's say now he's unloading some empty pallets. And uh, there's how many of those come down to the quantity? And let's say there was 12 empty pallets in here. So you basically have a record of everything the guy did during it. And then we click on the OK. And that information is carried back here. Now notice what's happened here. He is basically, here's the initial transaction of unloading the trucks. And then when we're in the more here, it's adding additional information here. And every time it does an additional entry, it's putting the plus sign in here automatically. And these times will all be accumulated, of course, when we get it back to the main application here. Now, when I hit the, uh, the let's say we hit the time now, and the guy's now going to go on and do some vehicle dispatch, dispatch the vehicle. And then we're going to stop the study over here. When we stop, the five buttons appear back over here, right? So again, the trick is when you hit the start to start the uh, study, a new button is in here now. This button's called the data button, and that allows you to easily ac accumulate data against any particular observation and make multiple data collection observations uh, and regarding what you're interested in. So we'll stop this here, and then, of course, you just end the study when you're done and pass it back up per normal. Now, back on the PC, when you've dumped the data back in, this is what the data is going to look like. So you can see in my example here. So you can see here I've got my uh, get the work order, walk to stock, check the vehicle in, unload the trucks. So this is the first entry here. And you can notice I've got some data accumulated against it right here. 
and then we've unloaded additional trucks. And here's the plus sign for the add to last, right? Now, if we take the times here that have all been added together for the unload trucks, I can just grab them here, and I'm just going to put them up here. And I'm just going to do a quick uh, sum to see what the summary is. So we sum it up, and the answer is 1.551 minutes was the total time spent doing that. And notice over here in the data collection area, here's the data we've collected here, one after the other. Right? Now, if I go to my report here, that 1.551 here shows, shows up right here, an account of one. So the time for the individual transactions is all accumulated into one transaction, and that's being done because it automatically, as you hit, every time you hit the more button, it's doing the add to last entry right here. So in this way, you can capture a tremendous amount of data uh, very easily within the time of Pro Package.